So aviators are a brand that I have covered before. They make like military or aircraft themed watches. And some of these are really good with unique design cues and then some are a little bit garish. But generally, I think they're quite good. And this is the first one in a while that they've contacted me about that I thought actually looked really decent. So let's see in the flesh. And as you can see, we actually have two boxes here. Now this one is a secret one uh, that's currently under embargo, so there's nothing I can tell you about that one yet, but this one uh, is the one we're after, so let's take a look. Okay, so this one only just released. You have the uh, typical schematics on the box there too. And this does seem a bit different. It's been so long, I can't remember exactly what the AV8 packaging is like, but this is certainly different in a rather unique color. Maybe not my favorite packaging, but it's definitely uh, standalone. Here it is, the Fly Flyboy Airmaster Sector. So not the easiest name to remember, admittedly. Let's get this film off. There we go. And I don't know about you, but to me, this is giving me like Baltic vibes with Maybe the colour scheme, the, the layout, and maybe even the bezel? I'm assuming the name of this piece is something to do with the segmented dial, as you can see. Now, one thing I have noticed straight out of the box is that despite the pretty legible overall layout, the anti-reflective coat in here is so blue that it really isn't the most legible crystal. I mean, look at that. You can't see it from a lot of angles, which is... A bit frustrating because I think it's actually quite a good looking watch. Love these particular colours. It's got like a an art deco vibe, which I was excited to try. And you'll notice that the nine and the three are kind of sitting horizontally here with no six because you have the uh, subdial in place instead. Now this watch does come in multiple colours, including a green, which looked nice. And there's a, a black and then like a, a brownie cream, which might be my favourite looking at the images here. But this one's still decent looking and you've got the strap, which matches it, as you can see. And you have that perfect colour match, which is something I haven't seen a great deal of before. The case itself is pretty slim from a side on, as you may expect, considering it is uh, using a mecha quartz movement. It's also a different colour. Isn't your typical silver now I'll bring in a more traditional colored watch here for comparison so here is like an orient chronograph and as you can see this aviate is actually like a gun metal tone instead the most similar watch i can think of to compare it against is probably something like this uh, orient triton which has got like a slightly bronzier tone but it's you know a similar effect overall it's very unique looking i will definitely give them that that's something that aviate watches are never accused of uh, lacking here's a quick look at the case back just very simple eight with like a round all around it screw back uh crown is just simple push pull crown and again this is another non-chronograph watch using a mecha quartz movement something that seems to be increasing in popularity. Let's have a go with this bezel and see if it's any good. Yeah, that is actually really decent. There's a little bit of kind of side to side shake of the bezel, but there isn't much uh, back play on it. So that's good. Very minimalist bezel. Not really the most functional, I guess, because it's uh, you know, not got markings and it is unidirectional. It won't go backwards. I think that is a proper loom pip as well, so we'll test that in low light. Now there are undoubtedly some Blancpain 50 Fathoms vibes with the way that this thing looks, no doubt, uh, especially like the font choice, the dial arrangement, how the fact you only have certain numbers showing and the rest are markers. The most intricate part of this watch is probably that bottom section here. I'm not sure I can zoom that far in with this camera, but you'll see this whole lower portion in red uh, is actually like a micro texture of horizontal lines on the stock images that isn't super apparent and this lower section is split into multiple different rings and it gives this watch quite a bit of depth oh and actually the top half too so this top dark blue inner bit is like circular lines as well which you can only see when you look really closely and while i like the overall look and, and some of the extra details 
One detail I don't like is how Mecha Quartz is just stamped there right below the logo. And I always think, you know, if you're gonna buy a watch like this, and if you're gonna spend more than like a hundred pounds on a watch, you're gonna do at least a bit of research and probably look at what movement's inside the watch already. So having them re-say it to you, it really isn't any use. The strap is fine. Let me see how much this watch is retailing for currently. Ah, it's actually less than I thought, so 180 US dollars. Okay, so it's actually even cheaper than that. I forgot I had this discount code for the AV8 site. I tested it just now and it still works for 20% off. So it's Benjamin Arthur 20 formatted, as you can see on screen. This works on all full price watches on the AV8 site, not just this one. Which I thought this would end up being over 200, to be honest. I think it's a good looking watch for that amount of money. For that amount of money, I think this is reasonable. It's kind of on par with some of the ones you get with Orient watches, but they tend to cost a chunk more. And at least it's got these custom keepers that match the case tone. It's got five ATM water resistance and the lug width is 20 millimeters. Now it says on here that this is only using a mineral crystal, which surprises me given, you know, the slight illegibility really of the crystal or the, re the reflectiveness of it. It does give you a lot of that um, warping effect as you can see here. So, yeah, we'll, we'll give that a quick test with the uh, crystal tester now. So here's the Casio edifice I reviewed recently, which we know, as you can see, is sapphire. It's got that strong positive reading. And the AV8, in comparison, there's no reading at all. So they weren't lying, it is mineral. But that does confuse me a little. Mineral isn't a material that's usually quite this reflective, especially after they've put a coating on. It just has this real blue reflectiveness. Maybe it's just the sheer size of the light that I'm using here. I will quickly run and um, check this in another more natural light maybe and see if it's still a problem. Yeah, even in other lights, it is still really quite reflective. Maybe they need to choose something slightly different next time. I mean, the way it looks and with the dome and stuff works nicely, but it's not gonna hold up as well as Sapphire. Yeah, bob on 40 millimeters as they advertised. Lug to lug. About 47.7. And the thickness without the strap and including the crystal, 2, 12.3. So that is marginally slimmer than they say on the website. But with the strap behind it, it is substantially chunkier, 15 mil. And also the thickness without the crystal is about 11.2. And there it is on my six and a quarter inch wrist. Overall, Pretty good looking and it wears quite small, I think because the lug to lug isn't super large. It's a very versatile size and it looks good on the wrist. I mean, my preference, I would probably lean towards one of the other colors, maybe the green, but this one is very art deco indeed. And if that's your sort of thing, yeah, this feels like a reasonable watch. But yeah, here's a closer look at Flyboy Airmaster, not bad. Let's test the loom. So I'm not sure that they specifically, you know, brag about the loom they use here. They just mentioned it, that it's Japan luminous hands and applied indexes. That's actually quite bright really. And also sub dial as well. It's like a luminous sub dial with a two tone finish, or at least it's somewhat luminous in the daytime. I couldn't tell that at all. So the initial brightness was pretty good. It has faded fairly quickly though. And that's the AV8 Flyboy Airmaster. If you're interested in it, um, it's affiliate linked in the video description. Thanks to uh, the company behind AV8 for sending this in. Overall, a good looking like blank pan inspired watch, but there are some uh, downsides as you can see.